People gathered outside the police headquarters in downtown Portland. Everyone had brought signs and flowers to set up a memorial to honor the life of George Floyd, a man unlawfully murdered by an officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota, five days prior. The protest was filled with many passionate people, young and old, all united in exercising their First Amendment rights, peacefully, powerfully, and together. all that was asked of the police department to keep up the memorial of George Floyd. And one day is all that it took to be taken down and thrown in the garbage. Angry and confused, people began to get vocal. We just want to be heard and seen. We can't even breathe. But you want to throw our trash away? We're going to give them a walkway. We're going to set everything up this way, right over here, so they can get to work. Make them look at it. Before we do that, I think we really need to understand what is at stake here and what is really going on. Because it's so easy to repost on Instagram, do the little things. But how is it to put yourself in someone else's shoes? We can't do that. You can't trade life experiences. You can't enter into my body. I can't be you. You can't trade your life. You're you. But what we can do is reflect. So what I'm asking, the last time we put our hands up for two minutes, we felt a little pain. George Floyd, he was on the ground, flat, down, just like this. Think about J-Bo. They couldn't even breathe. We can make a change. It don't gotta be like this. That's not killing us, y'all. Everybody's scared of the system. People don't want to come together. They want to divide us. Fuck that shit. Ain't nobody gonna win if nobody here. We all dead. She was a racist to her face because she 
will refuse to listen to me when I talk about the fact that I'm not okay right now. Exactly. I'm not okay. Not. Not. I'm tired mentally, emotionally, and physically of this shit. I'm so tired. This time's fucking different. We're gonna make change, yep. okay? This no is the, this is the time that we need to make change. And I don't give a fuck what my grandmother says or any other white person in my family who doesn't fucking do yeah. There's very genuine people out here who don't even think racism exists. There are people out here who think, oh, that shit was old, nigga. We ain't hosing y'all. We ain't chasing y'all with dogs. We ain't got no colored, separated bathrooms anymore. Who gives a fuck, nigga? Y'all still fucking this up. Right? My nigga said he couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe. That ain't even the first time this shit happened. It's happened a million times over. And it's crazy that it's the second time this went viral. People began to surround police vehicles, and the chaos slowly ensued. Down to the ground so we can't 
This way, this way, this way. Driving through the crowd. He did not get arrested for anything else. They're gonna try to move the car, but y'all jumping on the front yeah. of the y'all jumping on yeah. the hood. Exactly. Y'all batting the sides, it's not gonna help. People are throwing umbrellas at it, people are throwing glass at it, people are throwing water at it. That's not gonna help. Move to the police station so we can get people home. That's all we're trying to do. I don't care if you don't listen to me or not, listen to everyone else saying that. This isn't gonna help. They're gonna move the truck once we're all gone. Stay on the side. Go to the fucking side. Go to the left. Oh, <laughs> 
George Floyd couldn't breathe, so we gonna breathe for him. We gonna breathe for him and we gonna say his name. That's what's up, bro. Man, I just, I didn't even know about it until a couple days ago. Somebody told me, somebody told me to come out here, and I really, I've really been hurting. I lost somebody to police brutality, and it's just, it, it's thing, it's things deep. It's, it's deeper with me. That's why I got so much passion. But me, personally, I need to channel, I need to channel that to a greater good for the community. I acted unaccordingly the other day. And yep. you're never gonna see that out of me again. Thank you everybody for coming out here. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Well, I mean, like, have, I mean, have you been watching the news, man? Like, has, has anybody been watching the news? It's, it's actually crazy. Like, people are, like, my people are being killed in the streets like dogs. And I just, I'm, I'm tired of it, you know? Like, I've been, I have been passive in the past about just, like, just all these fucking things. And I just can't, like, I can't be passive anymore. Like, it's just, it's, it's endangering my life to be passive. Anything you want to say to me, you can say it. Well, like I said, we're just here for a change, a peaceful change. We ain't trying to create violence for, throughout this nation. We're trying to create peace with all. Because at the end of the day, we're all God's children. We bleed, we laugh, we cry, and we always freaking die the same. We're human beings, we ain't dogs. We may look different, but we were just not that freaking different than all y'all. It's, it's a scary world to just be in. I just, it's, it's really sad I gotta see my brothers, my sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, grip. I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of freaking the violence. I'm sick of freaking arguing. I'm sick of, I'm tired of who's right or wrong. It's all we all take a stand. We drop all the bullshit and we go against something. We, I know it's scary and I know it's rough and I know it's risky and it's crazy too, but sometimes you gotta have to pull measures the government or is this us that's what it is right now it's not about black lives matter it's not anything it's not like that it's bigger than that it's just black it's it's us versus the government we are the youth we are the people of this country we got a voice too we will be seen and we will be heard that's all period black lives matter Blue lives matter, all lives matter. I say, every life matters. That is not what the purpose of this rally, the intention with all of the civil unrest need to say, which is that as a school system, as an American school system, as the Portland public school system, we are sorely lacking in our willingness to confront the reality that we are a racist institution at the core. How many of you were forced to say, and I can't even say it, the N-word when reading to kill a mockingbird in class? All right, everyone, how many of you know the history of blackface? I'm asking you guys these questions because today, at 26 years old, I sent a letter to my high school principal at Mountain Valley High School. Today, I took actions that I was too scared to do in 2009 when I was 15. To hold accountable the staff members that allowed blackface to happen, allowed students to call myself and the few other black students niggers. They were never held accountable. I was the one that got benched from the soccer team. My friends were the ones that got suspended from school as the white people roamed the halls thinking it was funny. Those teachers are still there. There are still children that look like me that are not okay in these small schools. I'm thankful I'm in Portland now, but we need to look at our smaller schools. If you went to a school in Maine, you need to check in on your hometown and hold those people accountable because they're still in power. That's right. Yeah. a childhood. But no, my mom started when I was seven and she started talking to me about the police. I shouldn't have to fear the next man in blue. I shouldn't have to fear any of the J's. I don't understand why I have to live in fear every single time a police officer decides that, you know what, let me stop by their house. I shouldn't have to feel fear when my favorite police officer in this community comes to our house. 
I shouldn't have to feel fear and shouldn't have to feel fear that my little brother's gonna get shot? How am I supposed to protect my little brothers if I'm worried I'm gonna get shot with them? This stop being this stop being a political problem. This stopped being a race problem. It became a human problem. This should this is a global problem and this should not be what we live in. This should not be our future. This should not be our past. This should definitely not be our present. So I'm asking you all to vote. Vote smart. Stop voting for those rich, arrogant, ignorant white people. Stop eating. Stop. Stop supporting Gucci with their. Stop supporting Gucci with their black face sweater. We should stop supporting those who keep on punching down instead of looking up and fixing where we live. We should not have to live in fear anymore. So please vote smart. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of having to live in fear. I'm tired of hearing stories. I'm tired of looking on the internet and seeing another black man, another black boy, another black girl, and another black Ratified on July 4th, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was written to, as the title suggests, declare our independence as Americans, to separate ourselves from the tyranny and suppression brought upon by generations of injustice. This document would cement the beginning of a new era, one of peace and equality. It defines that all Americans are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These rights are never to be infringed upon and are designed to ensure that all men are created equally. I ask you this question. How much life was given to George Floyd when the breath was squeezed out of his neck or Breonna Taylor when she was shot in her home? How much liberty was given to the segregated bathrooms in literacy tests or how were all those men, women, and children brought over on ships able to pursue happiness in fields riddled with cotton and generations of their own blood. These laws written over 300 years ago, the ones our country was built on, still aren't being followed by the people who wrote them even to this day. All men, or more accurately, all people are created equal. No matter age, sex, gender, religion, or race. Because it's written right there in black and in white.